Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Welcome to Brilliance Business TV, conversations with leading experts in business. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pooler. We have a wonderful guest on the show today, Dr. Susanna Kors. Susanna is the incredible person who does all of my uploading of my IMDB show on for this amazing, incredible show. She's doing a great job on that, but I'm really looking forward to a conversation with Susanna today. We are streaming live on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. We're also on the E360 TV network going out to Apple, Fire, Android, Roku, and many more platforms. We're also on mspnewsglobal.com. We're also streaming to USA Global Radio and Television Network, and we're also on Business Innovators Radio Network. So let's bring in our incredible guest, Dr. Susanna Kors. Susanna, welcome to Brilliance Business TV. Thank you, Mark, and thanks for having me. The pleasure is all mine. I'm going to get started with the first question. Share a little bit about your professional background, Dr. Susanna. Yes, so I started out in life in academia originally. I was a researcher and university teacher in the cultural history of the Persian-speaking world during the times of Islam. So I'm essentially a cultural historian of a different civilization. And then when I decided to drop out of academia, which was a couple of years ago, I started to see a psychology education, a practical education. It's not an academic degree that I have in that. And also a hypnosis education because I wanted to start out as a life coach using hypnosis and trans states as my main tool. Hypnosis is really, really powerful. I've actually done an incredible hypnosis today as well. I use hypnosis daily, Susanna. It's so, so powerful for changing the mind, isn't it? Yes, it's actually a really powerful tool for reprogramming. And something else also, which I um, find very important and helpful, and it's my main focus when I use hypnosis on clients, is to reconnect or to connect first time depends on how your life has been going with your inner guidance and to go on discovery journeys into your inner being into your inner strengths and resources and uh, help you with decision making and finding your path that way I agree totally really really powerful tool hypnosis goes straight to the subconscious mind Susanna would you summarize your journey to where you are now Yes I decided to drop out of academia in my late 30s and it took me a few years to actually get my new education and then to start a business and there were many reasons for that it's a very complex decision that I made there essentially it wasn't my calling anymore it had been and it wasn't anymore and then I had a phase where I really didn't know what to do and was kind of hanging in the air it's uh, like a little bit like a big black hole but I wasn't aware of that at the time um Looking back, I could realize that and I could notice that. And during that time, I, on the side, while I was contemplating and trying to find my path, my new path, I did a hobby. I created fan pages for an actor. And in that area, I gained a couple of very uh, useful skills that we may be talking about um, later on. And um, at the same time, I had already started to go more intentionally about my spiritual development. I had grown an increasing interest in all all things spiritual and the meaning of life and uh, and death and all that. You know, when you hit your midlife crisis, the things that happen then. And um, eventually, so I decided to start a coaching business, as I said before. And uh, 
while I started that during the pandemic, I actually I hit I, I tried to start out locally and essentially hit the first lockdown when I had set up my studio. It was just the first lockdown. So it didn't really go according to plan. And I did that for a while and it didn't really take off. And at some point I noticed and I realized that I actually uh, like being in trans states myself a lot. And so I started channeling. I started to channel stories and I started to restarted to write. Obviously, I, I had done quite some writing in my academic career, but I started writing in a different way. And I was also pointed to a need for technical help by some lovely spiritual coaches and healers and entrepreneurs who are very gifted and very talented and very good at what they are doing, but don't really like the technical side of the of the business. And so I started to help my fellow coaches and, and healers in my uh, circle, in my, in my online community with technical stuff. So that's a new offer I have. And so I, I started actually a new branch in my business just last year. And I also noticed that some people could use some help with their online profiles. Like as yes. you mentioned yourself, if you have a show, a podcast or a TV show like yourself, it, it might may, may be a good idea to put it on the international movie database, IMDb. And I'm also um, able to help you if you are eligible for a Wikipedia article or you already have one. So uh, that's not, not, not a huge amount of people, but people who have that uh, know that it's a community project, so it needs constant servicing. You constantly have to look after your article there. And uh, that's also something I can do very well because I have done that. And it's also something that directly ties into my skills from academia because it's an encyclopedia. And that's something obviously I know about is um, writing encyclopedia articles and how to do that You've got a lot going on there, Susanna, and I must say you've done an incredible job on getting my show onto IMDb, and it looks incredible there, and it just opens up the show to a whole new level and a whole new audience as well. So anyone out there with podcast shows, I would recommend getting in touch with Dr. Susan. She's so thorough, and she really does a great job at that. What are your main messages, Susanna? So currently, uh, a really important message for me is uh, to get out the word that death is not the end of our existence. That's a conviction I have come to over a couple of years. I've um, struggled with the yeah the, the idea that uh, we completely disappear into nothing when our physical brain dies, which is of actually the dominant paradigm at the moment, the materialist paradigm. And uh, most people I know in, in, in my uh, environment who are academics or even scientists are convinced of that. And I really suffered from that. I was very, very unhappy with that. And so I started to dig into that and um, have found enough to convince me. So that's always a very individual path, but to convince me that death is not the end, which has a huge impact on both the meaning of life in my perception. And I think that's something that is true for everyone in a way that how you perceive death has a huge impact on how you perceive life. And it also means for me that when you have grief over the loss of a loved one, that yes, you will feel pain and you will grieve, but you won't suffer quite as much as you will when you think it's uh, this person is completely disappeared and, and nothing is left of them, except for memories, obviously. So that's a really important uh, message I have. And for that, I actually have set up a podcast, which you can see in the background, uh, Death and Beyond. Uh, that's 
started out as a YouTube series in both English and German, because German is my native language. And um, then I set it up as a podcast to the English version of it. And that's just going and there I'm sharing the steps that have brought me to this conviction. And I think that's a really important thing to talk about. And uh, another very important message connected with that is don't give up on spirituality if you don't have any gifts switched on at the moment. So that's because that's where I started out that I didn't really have any, you know, perception that goes beyond our normal five senses. And um, I always was interested in what else is possible. And it took me years and years, essentially decades to get to the point where then suddenly I started having experiences. And uh, sometimes you need to open up your mind first and uh, go on this intellectual level first and uh, then it can come. But that's that's another message. Just don't give up. If you are interested in that, if you if you feel a desire for that, and even if it takes many years and you have no results uh, with all sorts of uh, exercises and things, just don't give up. It can come at the point when it's right for you and ready for you. And the last thing is that I have found that regulating our emotions and getting into a distance to our thoughts so we are not identified anymore with our thoughts or our emotions is very helpful to support serenity and resilience in life. That's my main messages. And that is a very, very peppiful message. I've done so much work on myself and you really do have to become the complete observer of your thoughts without judgment of your thoughts, without getting attached to them and just watch them go by. But it is a skill, isn't it? Because some thoughts, they want to grab you in. Some thoughts are not nice. And it's really about being a new observer of those thoughts and being loving, compassionate, not judging and staying strong and rather than panicking or getting attached to the thought it's about becoming a new observer seeing past the illusion of those thoughts so that's really powerful and I agree with everything what you said about death I don't think for one minute we just die I think I think we're eternal beings um, I, I'm very very spiritual I'm connected to God source the universe and I just think we're having this experience on earth, but we are spiritual beings and we go on to bigger and more levels of consciousness when we pass. So I'm very, very in line with what you're about. So stay on this call. Once this is ended, I'd like to ask you something. How can you help our audience? Well, first of all, I have some free uh, material, some free resources that give inspiration, encouragement, and insights. One is the podcast I've already mentioned. Then I have another show on YouTube, which is my TV show, uh, where I interview people who have navigated major life changes, and they just share their story and sometimes give some tips about what they have learned on their journey. And that's meant to encourage people and inspire people who are in a similar situation. And uh, yes, I also have a playlist that's called Life Hacks on YouTube. And I'm just about to upload another, uh, another video, both in German and in English, uh, where I share some things that I've learned that are uh, small things, small exercises or small tips and techniques that don't take a lot of time, that don't take a lot of effort, but have a huge impact or can have a few huge impact that I have tested that I've uh, that have worked for me both for things like um, regulating emotions and uh, getting a distance to your thoughts but also for practical things the next one is about something very practical but something that can help with all the things you have to do in your life then I have um, local coast offers um, like the book that you can see on the other side in my background. That's um, a book that's currently uh, available as an ebook on Kindle, uh, as a Kindle ebook on Amazon. 
And I have a print version coming up during the next couple of weeks. It's almost finished. And that's a book with channeled parables, channeled short stories that I have not made up, not thought up, not um, invented myself, but received and written down. And I've selected some of them that I think are really encouraging and comforting and inspiring. And they all come with a message. So I call them parables because they are all very metaphorical, but they are little stories. And I've also added some images for more inspiration and also aesthetic pleasure. And I have added journaling prompts so you can go deeper into it and use each of these short stories to actually dig deeper into yourself and to discover your own truth that may be addressed by the story. So that's a very low cost offer too. I also have an offer to channel your personal story. I've just recently done an interview with someone who uh, took me up on that offer and we discussed her uh, story also that I channeled for her. That's a personalized offer. It's a bit uh, more costly, but if you have bought my book, and then sign up to my email list that is dedicated for books and low-cost offers, then you can get a 40% discount on that. And for those people who understand German, I also have a hypnosis course for um, stopping your thought um, carousel, so to speak, when you have a lot of thoughts in your head at night, for, for example, and falling asleep more easily. And I, I'm intending to put that out in English too in a while. And then I have my um, tech help for entrepreneurs, which is content editing, repurposing, platform administration. I can also do book formatting and all that sort of stuff. That's always um, a tailored offer. So whoever is interested in that just has to uh, come to me and, uh, and talk to me and we can see if I can help, how I can help, if it's in the budget and all that. And I have my online profile service for IMDb, the International Movie Database, which is for show hosts and also for actors, if any actors are watching here and are struggling with their IMDb or with their Wikipedia, I can help with that. Lots of things there and I love the one about thoughts and the hypnosis, we'll chat about that later. Um, what are some exciting projects that you're working on right now? Have you just said them all or is the things that you're exciting things you're working on, Dr. Susan? Yeah, I have some some more exciting things there. One is that um, I'm currently part of a new book co collaboration by Katie Carey from the uh, Soulful Valley uh, Publishing House. And that's called the Becoming the Manifesting Diva. That will be a very inspiring book because everyone is sharing about their manifesting stories, what they have, uh, the, the, essentially the miracles they have experienced in their lives. And that's launching on 17th September. That's an English uh, book collaboration. So that will come out on 17th September. Then I have an upcoming interview in my Change Interview series on YouTube uh, with a wonderful actress, Amy Bailey, who is mainly known uh, for her role on the hit TV show Vikings. And she is a sweet, lovely person. And she has shared quite a lot of changes she has navigated in her life and also what the challenges were and how, how she is dealing with that, how she is doing that. And the last thing is uh, my fantasy TV series in development. It's called Magician's Blood. It's essentially Prince of Persia meets Game of Thrones. And we have a war between two kingdoms. We have magic in it, which is tied to spiritual concepts in our own world. Our main character is of mixed heritage. So he's essentially caught between these two kingdoms that go to war to, uh, uh, against each other. This character will be played by the British, British actor Ivan Kay. He's also known from Vikings. Uh, as King Ale of Northumbria. He has an immensely powerful on-screen charisma, an incredible playing range, and he can display emotions and, and evoke emotions in the audience in an intensity that's, that's awesome. And he will be our leading man. We have a strong female character. I'm still negotiating with my, uh, with my uh, wish list actress. 
And the themes are, are essentially showing that midlife and midlife crisis is a portal to new avenues. So we have main characters that are a little bit older in their 40s and 50s. And uh, we also have a younger generation and love stories and all that. So we have all that for the younger people too. But we have a focus on uh, a little bit um, more major themes and uh, people who are a little bit more advanced in their lives. We have the theme of clash of civilizations, which we are exploring and uh, also overcoming the clash of civilizations. And um, another theme is the questionable character of truths handed down over generations. So there everything comes in that I have done in my life, the skills I've acquired, the knowledge I've acquired, the experience I have made. This is all combined in this show. And yeah, I hope to find some uh, people who want to back this with money or with advice, with help, so we can uh, start shooting uh, soon our our first our first piece, which will be a short version of the pilot. So that's that's all the exciting projects I am at at the moment. On top of the other things I've already mentioned, they're really really exciting projects. I would say to everyone for for more information, connect with Dr. Susan on Instagram. Send her a message. Follow her. And that is at Dr. Dot Susanna Dot Kurz. That's at Dr. Dot Susanna Dot Kurz. Susanna, I've thoroughly enjoyed having a conversation with you today. Thank you so, so much for being my guest today on Brilliance Business TV. Thank you, Mark, for having me. I would just share one little tip so people who are watching this can take something away about the uh, you know, distancing from your thoughts when they are beginners. Do we have time for that? Yes, go ahead. Great. So, um, because when I started out and I started meditating, I had a really big problem with, you know, stopping thoughts or, or even observing thoughts because I thought, how, how do I do that? Because I was completely uh, identified with my thoughts. And a technique that I've learned that I think is really helpful is that you try to recognize where your thoughts are coming from, from which direction they are coming. Do you feel or see or hear your thoughts coming from the front or from the back or from right or left or top or bottom? So try to figure out from where do the thoughts come when you're talking to yourself in your head. You can also try to just, when you notice you're talking to yourself, just to interrupt that. And another option is to uh, figure out what shape your thoughts are taking or what form they have. Uh, do you receive them as sound or as uh, just an idea or do you see them written or do you have an image or all of that? So these are I think exercises then that really can help you on the first steps of the way to start getting a little bit of a distance between yourself and your thoughts so you are not totally identified with them anymore and from there you can you can uh, go on then and always uh, be nice to yourself be kind to yourself never uh, beat yourself up because uh, it doesn't work or you uh, have a problem uh, with uh, keeping at that or you just got sucked into your thoughts and feelings um, again because it's a process and it takes time. It certainly does take time and consistency as well. Great tips there, Dr. Susanna. Thank you once again for joining us on Brilliance Business TV. Thank you, Mark. It was an absolute pleasure talking to you and, yeah, hope to... See you. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.